You see, life is not a computer. We are being told that the brain is a computer, life is a computer, and so on and so on and so forth. No, it is not true. Life is actually a system that uses quantum physics. When a protein handles one atom at a time, or one particle, like a proton, at a time, that is quantum physics. It's not classical physics. Life has been studied until recently as a classical machine, as if life was like a computer. But because it was studied this way, doesn't make it a classical machine, because it isn't. And in fact, now there is a small group, we said the, the, the new, you know, the new uh, biologists that they are studying, they, they have created a, what is called quantum biology. They have those few, because they are small number yet for now, but it's a growing number. They're studying life as a quantum phenomenon, which I believe, it, I believe, you know, it's 20 years that I believe that that has to be because of the way life works. And so consciousness, therefore, is supported by a living system and not by a computer because consciousness is a phenomenon which is even more quantum, if you want, than life. Consciousness is a phenomenon, a phenomenon of fields, like the quantum fields of quantum physics that are the fields of the elementary particles. You see, we, we have been taught that elementary particles are, ob are like objects, very little tiny objects. But actually, physics is saying that they're not objects. They're not objects. They are states. They are states of fields. States are not objects. And in fact, there are all kinds of you know confusions in, uh, in physics, when you take the position that particles are objects, you know, you have all kinds of problems when you do that. So, even physics is telling us, hey, it, things are not the way it looks. But when you accept that consciousness may be this phenomenon, is what is in between the, uh, you know, is a phenomenon that pervades everything. Right, a field pervades everything. So, one, you know, a consciousness is like a field that pervades everything. I exist everywhere. Have you ever considered? Have you ever considered why you see the world out there instead of only in in you? You are, you see the world. I mean, I see Council General is in front of me. It's, it's over there. It's not inside of me. If I'm a machine. Consul General would be in, you know, in some memory that I have inside of me. How can, the, how can the computer project out the image that he has inside his head? How can he do it? Impossible. You know why we do it? Because we are a field. He is in my field. You are in my field. That's what's going on. That is what's going on. And very few people understand this because we are so used to think that the world is out there. Because, but, but how, did it, how can it be out there? How can, it, how can the image of the world, I take signals from there, I bring it inside of me, it should be only inside of me. Isn't it? Well, I, I love your, your, what you say because it's so poetic, <laughs> by the way. It's like saying the beauty that you see is the beauty in your eyes. This is what you say. So you, you make me feel happy. So that's why I'm talking. Oh, that's already. I'll, I'll bring you that. That's already something because uh, 